right. And Hassani, you're, you're comfortable taking that back to your chair? Yes. All right. Hassani is a gifted mathematician who has studied independently with Ms. Amy Shear, our head of lower school and former math department chair, during the last two years, having completed AP Calculus BC as a freshman and Vector Calculus as a sophomore. Ms. Shear describes Hassani's work ethic as second to none and his passion for learning as contagious. More importantly, she describes Hassani as exceptionally kind and always interested in other people's opinions and ideas. Beyond the classroom, Hassani has competed on the MICDS robotics team and has served as an event leader in the Black Student Union. Outside of school, Hassani's work commitments reflect his character and his compassion for others. He has taught math to younger students at a local Kumon Center and as an assistant physical therapist at a local rehabilitation center, he has served the needs of patients there throughout most of the duration of the coronavirus pandemic. Hassani is also a tenacious basketball player and a gifted outside shooter. When my parents visited St. Louis in late December 2019 and I was walking them around campus, my father stuck his head in the North Gym where Hassani was all alone taking three-point shots from various points around the perimeter. I don't know how many Hassani missed, but it would not have taken a math genius to add up the very few of them that he did. It was like that scene from the movie Hoosiers, and I had a very difficult time convincing my father that there was anything else at MICDS worth seeing that day. <laughs> For his character, his accomplishments, and his promise, I would ask, you, I would ask that you join me in congratulating Hassani Spann on receiving the Head of School Award. Thank you. There's a little wind here. It is now my pleasure to introduce Kent Rapp, chair of the MICDS Board of Trustees and member of the Country Day School class of 1976. Mr. Rapp began his term of service on the board in 2015, and he will complete his first year as chair in June. I am particularly grateful to Mr. Rapp for his support and steady counsel throughout this unusually challenging school year. The role of the board chair at MICDS is an especially demanding and time-intensive one, and I feel very fortunate for the level of care and commitment that Mr. Rapp brings to this position. Mr. Rapp and his wife Jenny are the parents of Alex, class of 2005, and Andrew, class of 2008 the latter of whom met his wife, Callie, in seventh grade at MICDS, right over there. Mr. and Mrs. Rapp are also the very proud grandparents of Anna, Blakely, Fletcher, and Scarlett. Mr. Rapp, welcome to our commencement exercises. Thank you, Mr. Ramey. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, congratulations to the MICDS class of 2021. Everyone here today, whether in person or virtually, is honored to be a part of this day, to celebrate you and to give thanks to those who have invested so much in helping you reach this important milestone. As seniors, you have led the way in our school community in a most impressive way. You have shown great promise as contributors to our world, giving us hope for the future as you continue to rise. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for you, and I know that you will go forward with confidence that MICDS has prepared you well to this point in your journey. The past year plus has been a most unusual and challenging time around the world. COVID may have thrown all of us a global curveball, but the MICDS class of 2021 hit it out of the park. Because through it all, you managed not just to get by, but to truly thrive. 
both as individuals and as a community. In our classrooms, you have distinguished yourselves through your own unique courses of study. At the next level, the seeds of learning planted here will continue to grow in new and exciting ways. In our school community, you have learned what it means to be a good citizen with a good heart. The many lessons you have learned here about character, honor, integrity, and personal responsibility will play a major part in defining the person each of you become. Our world will forever need more smart and good people, and you will find that you possess the building blocks that can take you wherever you want to go in life and to make a difference. We are so proud of your many achievements and the recognition you have achieved in the classroom, on the stage, in the laboratory, on the playing field, and in our greater community. You have fought the good fight, worked hard, overcome fears, taken risks, tried new things, and learned from your victories as well as your defeats. And you have had fun along the way. You are better people for rising to the challenges you have faced while a student here and MICDS is a better place because of you. Never forget that MICDS will forever be your school, and we want you to stay engaged, visit regularly, and to cheer on and support your school as often as possible. MICDS will always be here for you. Parents, students, alumni, faculty, staff, administrators, and the Board of Trustees all believe in your potential to do great things. And we will be your most enthusiastic supporters at the next stage of your lives and beyond. We wish you all good things in the days and years ahead. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Jack Morris, valedictorian of the class of 2021. Good afternoon, and congratulations to everyone. Through all the obstacles we've faced over these past months and years, it's truly an amazing achievement that we sit here today as graduates of the class of 2021. Of course, we couldn't do this on our own, though, and I'd like to thank those who have provided guidance and support over these past four years. Mr. Rainey, Mr. Ludbrook, Mr. Small, thank you for being our North Stars over these past years. Teachers, thank you for teaching us how to think and not what to think. Parents, thank you for pushing us, for trusting us, and for supporting us through thick and thin. On a day so focused on the past, uh, pardon me, on a day so focused on the future, I wanted to spend some time highlighting the past. How did we get here? How do we come from clueless kindergarten kids starting school with lunch boxes in our hands to competent, prepared, and hopefully educated graduates who will leave today with diplomas. Well, my first memory of the MICDS community was a fun little tradition from middle school, which we called bush pushing. You guys remember bush pushing? This aptly named activity had us all constantly on our guard, hypervigilant, attempting to avoid being flung into one of the strangely dusty bushes between the black and white hallway and the Freeman Arts Building. When you did get bush pushed, it seemed impossible to get out. But you inevitably did, and you dusted yourself off. And then you looked for the next person you could bush push who wasn't on their guard. Hopeful and still slightly dusty from the bushes, we arrived at the upper school. As I'm sure most of you remember, our classes were separated by gender in middle school, and that, combined with the dozens of new faces who joined us in freshman year, thrust us into a period of social confusion and turbulence and tumult and all the other T words. We had ample chance to implode over our four years here, with the constant cycle of gaining and losing the ice cream machine, of being displaced from our free period locations because of boards mysteriously falling out of Brower, because of 
enrichment periods, which we barely survived, 20-minute presentations, 15-page papers, college essays, AP exams, and just an incomprehensible amount of work. Again, this could have broken us, but it didn't. This class accomplished so many amazing things over our incredibly short four-year span here. We started a new sport at MICDS. Yes, this is a cyclocross shout out. We put on plays and musicals that challenged the way we interact with and perceive our world. The soccer team won state for the first time ever. We changed our communities for the better through service and activism. We're headed to some of the most amazing universities in the country next year, and we still manage to support each other despite living in a mostly virtual world these past 14 months, I think. Now, we unite as a class for the final time. This is the last time we get to share this space together. And whether you perceive that as a positive or a negative is beside the point. But one thing is undeniable. This community and the people who make it, you, us, is sacred. Not only because of our shining moments, not only because of our accomplishments, but also because of bush pushing and all the other hijinks we got ourselves into over our time here. You all have proven to me that every moment we get to spend together is a sacred moment. And this is only true because of the constant effort, conscious or otherwise, that we put into nurturing this community. This campus is just a clump of fields and buildings and trees and sidewalks and the occasional dog poop. But we all have made it mean so much more than anything you could see on the surface. As we exit this physical space, as we leave this community to travel across the country next fall, we retain our ability to find the sacred in the mundane. We retain our capacity to create community from scratch. And the next things that fling us into a bush, and I'm sure there will be many, we retain our ability to get up and to dust ourselves off. But the childish inclination to search for another person to bush bush is gone, I hope. Now replaced with a desire to free others from the bushes, to dust them off too, and to create long lasting relationships in a disjointed, unknown, brand new community. You all have created that desire in me, and for that I'm eternally grateful. And to all of you, on behalf of the class of 2021, I say goodbye and thank you. And I believe my highest honor of high school is this one. I now get to introduce our faculty chosen speaker, sorry, chosen by the class of 2021, Greg Huntoon. As teachers, we are constantly asked questions. And while we hope that they are well thought out with intent and deep meaning, we often get ones that are the same over and over and over again. So I figured it would be fitting for the last time that I talk to you all to answer the questions that you have asked me over and over and over again. The first comes from a student that, for the sake of this speech, I'll refer to as Pookie. And once a week, Pookie would ask me the same question. Hey, coach man, any fun weekend plans? And while I would usually brush it off with some sarcastic remark, for the first time, I can honestly say, yes, I do have fun weekend plans. I get the privilege of speaking to you all one last time. It was a little less than four years ago when we gathered on the field hockey turf to gaze up upon the solar eclipse, thus commencing your high school careers. Most of you had been at MICDS for two to 10 years, but there were some of us experiencing it for the first time. I say us because I was one of them. I was new to the city, and nervous to meet all of you, hoping this new group of teens would take a liking to me. 
To put it in terms, I know some of you will, behind me will understand, this was the first night of The Bachelor, and I was hoping to get the first impression rose. And while years later, I would find out from students that I came across as a dork in those first days, I feel as if I am now a member of this class and so honored that you chose me to speak here today. Let's move on for a quick second to the question I got from probably the most people over these four years, and everyone thought they were the first person to ask me. Hey, Mr. Huntoon. Did you know there is a BU Top Fan video of you bricking a bunch of layups at a basketball game? <laughs> to answer this one last time, yes, I'm aware. No, I can't take it down. And congratulations on your ability to Google Greg Huntoon. <laughs> Speaking of internet videos of me, there is another one of me getting my master's degree in sports broadcast journalism. And this prompted one student, who we'll refer to as Bluey, to regularly ask, how do you go from that to teaching? <laughs> Every time the question was asked, I had the same response. I'll tell you when you graduate. Hoping that if I said this enough times, it would eventually go away. But alas, Bluey was persistent. And so, seeing as you're about to get handed your diploma, I might as well make good on my promise. Part of the stall tactic was because I wanted us to focus on the day's lesson. But part of it, too, was because I honestly didn't know how I would answer. If you had asked me early on in my career, I probably would have said something cliche like, I want to inspire the next generation, or whatever I told Mr. Small during my interview. <laughs> but as I wrote this speech, I really thought about that question. What made me want to teach, and more importantly, what keeps bringing me back? And the answer is seated behind me. It's you all. At senior night on Friday, and today with Jack, we were reminded that MICDS is not a physical place, but a community, and you all embody that. It's not just the work you do in the classroom, but what you bring to the theater and the robotics lab, the hallways and the dining hall, the fields, courts, rinks, and tracks, creating an environment that excites and engages, makes me cry with laughter, and picks me up when I don't have time to get a second cup of coffee before class. And that's what made it so hard to not have you here all year. While I was devastated for each and every one of you, I was also sad for myself. But that's when I learned something else about this group. You are resilient. I don't need to tell you that life's not fair. It takes low blows and cheap shots. And while it may have knocked you down, you didn't stay there. You didn't dwell on what you couldn't do, but instead asked, what can we do? No contact soccer practice? Sure. Blue Whale Cafe without an audience? Why not? A musical outside, performing choreography on a muddy hill in heels no less? Bring it on. And while flowers from your family, money raised for a good cause, or a state championship trophy are nice takeaways. You went through all of that just for one last experience doing what you love with the people who made your time here memorable. And after taking a pause, you helped to reestablish the pulse of this school. The final question I've gotten the most comes from my lovely advisory. You're going to miss us. Not a question, I'll admit, but I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher. And while I know that the 12 of them were referring to the group who set the record for most turkeys dropped during a single turkey train, I feel it applies to the class of 2021 as a whole. This past Monday, 
As I was eating an early lunch outside, I looked around and it hit me. This was the first day I had been at this school without you. No, hey Huntoon in the halls. No one telling me how bad the lions are gonna be this year. And no one reassuring me that even I can, quote, move like a snake. It felt strange, like a part of me was missing, and I may have even gotten a little emotional eating my flick chips. For my entire MICDS career, you have all been the constant. You accepted me as one of your own, making memories and relationships I'll cherish forever along the way. While next year, you will be starting the next chapter of your lives, and I'll be here, beginning anew with a fresh crop of rams, know that you all will forever hold a special place in my heart. You made this place home for me, and for that, I cannot thank you enough. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so proud of you all, and I love you. feel obligated to state for the record that MICDS takes no responsibility for any deleterious effects suffered from dropped turkeys in the turkey train, and more importantly, that all allegations of bush pushing occurred during the administration of my predecessor and will not stand. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. The MICDS faculty and administration have informed me that these candidates for graduation have completed the necessary requirements and are poised and prepared to receive their diplomas, their passports for the next phase of their lives. I am asking that the diplomas be released and awarded. Mr. Rainey, on behalf of the MICDS Board of Trustees, I hereby release the diplomas to be awarded to the class of 2021. Seniors in the front row, please stand. Family, friends, welcome to the ceremonies today. Those of you at home, welcome. More importantly, welcome to the class of 2021. Keep going. Go ahead. Yeah. You ready? Raneem F. Al Zahabi. Iman Zahir Amin. Nanaya A. Ashi wins. Luke Thomas Abel. <laughs> Lily Ann Baker. Jack Thomas Baptist Jarvis.
Kyle Godsey Barton. Alexis Marie Bellamy. Hayden Gerard Van Bennick. Jenna Marie Bernstein. Rishi Bhattacharya. Landis Rochelle Monique Bingham. Alexander Von Berkel. Andrea Yulan Blackard. Madeline Elizabeth Bluestone. Trevon Ronald Leon Bobo. Nora Lily Bockert. William Charles Bukine. <clears throat> Jeffrey Benjamin Brooks. Marin McCune Brown. Crawford Stone Bundy. Robert Carl Byrne the third. <laughs> Alexis, 
Adia Laxmi Tilakala. Daniel Patrick Christopher. <laughs> Riley Patrick Clinton. Henry Gallup Cohen. <laughs> Madeline Ann Callum. Cameron Drew Craig. McKenna Ann Curry. Cameron Douglas Curry. Joshua Wyatt Darish. Alexander Michael Dawson. Prithvi Donable. Chu Dong. Kevin is not with us today. Lily Helen Dooley. Gregory Daniel Drysworth. Quentin James Dunn. Ella Dyer Durrell. Carl Hugo Engelhardt. Nice 
Garen Michael Engel. Evan Tretiak Erb. Stephanie Salazar Estrada. William Thomas Falk. Hayden Anthony Fisher. Jackson Wells Fox. Nikayla Adrian Garagai. William Douglas Giles. Justin Tyler Goldenberg. Santiago Gonzalez Navarine. Anna Elizabeth Goot. Jane Alice Girl. Isabella Mary Haynes. Dylan Michelle Haverson. James Alexander Hammersmith. Elliston Arthur Helms.
Aaron Joseph Hendricks. Reginald Eugene Holmes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Evan Neville Jacobs. Ryan Andrew Jasper. Eric Ran G. Henry Julius Jones. William Joseph Kazmarek. Danielle Tanae Kane. Alyssa Morgan Kalisman. Ashley Caroline Kane. Logan William Kane. Madigan Winston Kinsey. Natalie Emma Kohler. Grayson Robert Koontz. Eric Gregory Kuznetsov. Paul Leibovich. Thank you. 
Amy Luo Lee. Andrew Stephen Lindsay. Alana Isabella Lipsitz. Samuel Liu. Helen Corliss Love. Hasib Ijaz Malik. Ava Abigail Mandoli. Lucas Timothy McCarty. Jayla Kobe McMurtry. Spencer R. McNeely. Ilana Lucille Meisner. Casey Andrew Merlot. Henry Stone McCula. Alyssa Adriana Merkaf. <laughs> Taya Nicole Mitchell. Christopher Ian Morey. <laughs> J. 
Jason Patrick Morris. Aryan Haresh Motwani. Nijah Izaz Muhammad. Sebastian Alexander Newman. Joseph W. Nikpon III. Cecilia Marie Nuri. Maxim Yuri Novak. Caitlin Louise Newsom. Patrick Lewis O'Brien. Jalen Mackay Pace. Caitlin Mara Payne. John Gabriel Peluso the third. Simran Rahul Fata. William James Plaze. Sydney Marie Pollock. Jack Hunter Pronger. Congratulations. 
Grant Simeon Purdy. Sean Razis Putman. Amin Saad Kazi. Rich Chien. Jonathan Langhorst Racklin. Ananya Radhakrishnan. Walter Charles Ralph. Fiona Elizabeth Richards. Luke William Rickards. Nicholas David Roper. Joseph John Roth. Kendall Angelie Rosen. Pulomi Rudrapa. Lily Maria Rupinski. <laughs> Dylan Covey Sant. William John Schomburg. (laughs) 
Nicholas Christopher Scheel. Courtney Shands. Peyton Chandler Shanks. Angela Chen Shang. Chase Riley Seward. Divya Singh. Nathan Alexander Smith. Bonnie Lee Snyder. Rafael AJ Soa. Hassani Isa Span. Lauren Elizabeth Sugavanam. Hollis Avril Summers. Myron Deshaun Sutton. Rowan Brooke Taylor. William Xavier Thielen.
Ishan Tebrawala. Ava Carmela Tab. Caitlin Elizabeth Turnell. Judy Wang. <laughs> Olivia Urquhart Warren. Evan Charles Washington. <laughs> Nolan Richard Wainick. Morgan Aubrey Weber. <laughs> Sophia Elizabeth Weber. William Kennedy Weber. <laughs> Benjamin Andrew Weiss. Samuel Gerard Weinstraw. <laughs> Justin Thomas Williamson. Kendall, Kendall Addy, Addy Windham. <laughs> Gretel Catherine Wordat. Hannah Lee 
Wardak. Lily Francis Wardak. William Douglas Wardak. Jonah Maxwell Zox. Sarah Eloise Zar. Jerry Zhang. Sin Ray Zhuang. It is with great pleasure that I present the Mary Institute and St. Louis Country Day Class of 2021. Those of you at home and our guests, be patient. This is going to be a little bit awkward. Seniors, I need all you standing up. Come in front of me, and you're going to get your class picture. Okay? So come on forward. You can leave your diplomas. Come on forward. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. No masks. If you want to wear a mask, you can. If you want to wear a mask, you can.
Caitlin. All right, seniors, return to your seats. We're not quite finished, and we want to get you out of here before the weather hits, right? Great job, Nikki. Congratulations. We have one, one more bit here, folks. Hang on. Be patient. And now Steve Hughes, president of the MICDS Alumni Association and member of the storied class of 1984, will welcome you as officially as our newest alumni of MICDS. Thank you, Chris. In 1949, comedian Groucho Marx once famously said, I don't ever want to become a member of a club that would have me as a member. Of course, you know, if, how exclusive can this club be if they'll let someone like me in the door? Well, my friends, class of 2021, the diplomas that now sit on your laps, we don't give those out like candy. You earned every ounce of ink on that diploma, and we're so glad you did. So it's with that context and that background that I'm proud and pleased to welcome you all as newly installed members of the MICDS Alumni Association. Now, you might think, well, how good can this Alumni Association be? Well, you probably saw the rankings. U.S. News and World Report just put us at number three globally, that's correct, second only to Stanford and Notre Dame, which, you know, it's a pretty good company. So, pause for laughter. All right, so, um, that's how I scripted it. But I do want to say, real briefly, the, the numbers are all great. We have 8,000 alums around the world in 30 countries, and it's amazing what they can help you do and what you can do for them. In fact, I'd like to tell a very brief story before the rain comes. It involves a young boy who grew up to be a very handsome, bald man. I'm talking about myself. So uh, in 2004, I quit my job in advertising, and I started a training and personal development company, and I needed to make inroads into an industry in which I had no connections. I, I had no, I had, I had no uh, introductions there. In fact, as, as Scott Small often says, I had no scaffolding. And so th the problem was solved by the first three calls I made when I started my business were to classmates of mine at Country Day. And I said, okay, wait, big deal. So you called a couple of classmates. The big deal is not that I called them, it's who I called. You see, the first call was to my best friend in the world, still is, that was an easy call, the, the phone dialed itself. The second call was to, I'd say, just a, just a good friend, kind of right down central, nothing really special, just a nice friend. But the third call was to a guy I probably never talked to, maybe two words the four years I was here. But each one of them said, Steve, what can I do? How can I help? What do you need? And I'm fully convinced that it was their help that actually shortened my, my path to profitability. And I'm so thrilled to have that. I'm so thankful for Country Day and MICDS that brought us together. So I'd like to leave you with just one and a half pieces of advice. I would have done a full two, but we're running out of time. So, the first advice is please, please don't be strangers. We would love to have you come back. In fact, the reunions are amazing. At the very least, you get great food because MICDS does not skimp. We're going to take care of their alums. And secondly, you'd be amazed at how 10 years or 15 years of additional life experience, maturity, and a fully formed prefrontal cortex will do for your conversations. It's just, it's awesome. You'd be like talking to people and say, why didn't I hang out before? And uh, you can start then, it's wonderful. The other thing, I just heard this from the development office, and it's a big announcement. I just found out that MICDS does now accept Bitcoin. So, we do do Dogecoin, but it's a little iffy right now. Anyway, so, uh, but I do want to say, so that makes it very easy for you to contribute when we call you and ask for contributions in love. We'd like you to respond in kind. 
that we do now accept the big four, the four C's, which are cash, credit, check, cryptocurrency. So we have it all covered, which is quite lovely. And the final thing I just want to say to you all, as you all are right behind me there, is that you have no idea what the future holds. You have no idea at some point you might need their help, one of your classmates, and they might need yours. So class of 2021, I humbly ask you all to be true to yourself, be true to others, and most importantly, be true to your school. Go be awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. I'm having a hard time right now deciding whether I need to go ahead and dismiss us or to spend about five minutes sharing some thoughts with you. I'm thinking I'd like to dismiss you. Um, yes, please don't applaud too, I'm sure. <laughs> Think about the life-changing speech you would have heard. All the opportunities for personal renewal and rejuvenation missed. Um, but, but seriously, I, it wasn't, I think it's almost fitting. The rain just began to come down right when we finished with diplomas. It is a relatively long walk to vehicles. If it starts coming down harder than this, I don't want you all to be uncomfortable. Um, I have uh, my head of school letters, as many of you know, that I send out every week. This will be this week's letter in the event that you're interested in hearing my remarks. Um, I can't read you at all right now. I can't tell if you're disappointed or just, frankly, extraordinarily relieved. Uh, to have five minutes of your life back. I was going to talk about Tim Duncan, which is fantastic. Um, but uh, no, I, I think I, the better part of responsibility is um, to let you go, truly, uh, because it's hard to see what the weather's doing. So uh, thank you all. This, is, this was a wonderful service. And I will share my remarks with you later electronically so that you'll have them. But suffice it to say that I, on behalf of the extraordinary men and women that I work with here every day, are so proud of you, alumni of the class of 2021. And we will now conclude today's ceremony with the singing of the MICDS alma mater, performed by the Upper School Chamber Choir. Class of 2021, we'll begin by dismissing you by rows. There we are. I think now would be an appropriate time to remind everyone that noisemakers of any kind are not permitted at this ceremony. If you will please simply exit in an orderly fashion, make your way slowly back to your vehicles. We are adjourned. Thank you all very much. Congratulations to the class of 2021.
I'm not sure where to stop the stream, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'm pretty sure it's going to stop as soon as I turn this off. Oh, there it is, there away. it is. End stream. 